and with another video for howtodigitalpaint.com, now on episode 10, and we're looking at adjustment layers in Photoshop. So adjustment layers are a really handy way of putting some quick quick little touch-ups to your image, and also previewing different things, and uh, they have many uses, and we'll go through them, so we'll have a look at them. So, if we look here on our in our layers palette, if you don't have your layers palette open, go to window layers and you'll find it there and it'll pop up. And you'll see here a little uh circle, a black and white circle. And what this is is the ability to create a adjustment layer. So we have we have a whole bunch of them. But for this video, we'll just be looking at what I think are the important ones. So, these adjustment layers are in regards to uh, changing things such as brightness and contrast. And you can see here. So, an adjustment layer will affect every layer below that in the list. So if I was to make a new layer, um, it wouldn't actually it wouldn't actually affect this new layer until I put it on top. So as soon as I put it over over that layer, it adjusts that. We can also make it affect just one layer by holding Alt and you'll see the icon changes and now we click in between that layer and it'll connect it to that layer below it and you'll see it update with a little arrow there telling you what it's about we can also use a mask within an adjustment layer so if we want the adjustment to only affect part of the image we can go ahead and use masks. So maybe just use an airbrush and black will erase a mask out whereas white will make the mask appear. So in the parts where we don't want the mask we're going to paint in black. So I might not want his face affected by the by the mask. Oh sorry by the adjustment layer. So I can go ahead and paint that in black. And make sure you have the mask layer thumbnail selected. So that's just a matter of clicking on here. And you'll see it becomes highlighted. Okay, so let's have a look at some other adjustments we can do. I might try levels. Levels is one that I use a lot. So you'll see it pops up in your adjustments uh, tab and we can affect the levels. So you might want to brighten up some bits, darken the mid-tones. We can change just particular channels also. You can even do alt auto. So you can really tweak these. You can even use a combination of these adjustment layers. So we might combine levels with perhaps a color balance layer. Color balance is one of my favorites also. We're able to really cool down the shadows with some blue. Warm up our highlights with some with some orange, with some red and yellow, and then we can even if we think it's so extreme, but we still want the effect, we can even change the opacity of the layer, just as we would any other layer. It's also advisable if if you want to do everything manually and not use adjustment layers, yet you still want 
the ability to preview. You can group these layers, so select both layers. Holding Shift or Control will select both. And then Control G, and that will keep it in a group so you can preview it on and off. And even adjust the opacity of the entire entire group. And you can use these adjustment layers in combination with your normal layer effects, so you may want a more manual way, yet you still want the adjustment layer beneath it, so we can go in and overlay some blue in areas and so forth. So now we'll look at doing that with a black and white image, and how we can easily add some colour to give us a good base to paint on, on a black and white image. So we'll just make a, a new layer, make a hue saturation layer, set it to colorize, and immediately we can colorize the image. Might set it to some, almost like a raw rumble, as if traditional painting. And then new adjustment layer, color balance, and we can make the highlights warm, shadows cool, and just in a few seconds we're able to add some color in there, and this gives us a really good basis to to paint on, so you can even just build up your black and white valued image with some quick and easy overlay, set the layer mode to overlay, and we can really easily and simply get some colors in there, cool down some parts. So really experiment with this yourself. As with all my videos, I encourage you to go in and try it yourself because, you know, just watching me do it, you're going to learn something, but it's not until you really apply it that um, you'll begin to understand it, so so yeah, I encourage that, and test it out yourself, you can experiment with these, we've only looked at um, a few, so we, uh, there's a lot of good ones, such as even posterize, I like, um, I like the threshold filter, because it's a good way for me to check what what is and what isn't working in my image, Especially when you've got a big illustration, it'll things will pop out in a threshold, so you can see. Okay, those values are working, and um, if it looks good like this, just in a simple black and white, then it tends to look good with all the variation of values. Also, so I can see why this image is working. You can also check your values if you're working on a color image. You can just make a hue saturation layer drop the saturation down and just hide or unhide it as you're going through your image because if your values are right your colors will be right and sometimes it's difficult to um, tell if your values are right when you're working with a full color image so I can check this one as well your saturation adjustment layer drop the saturation I can see okay the values are pretty good, but he could maybe use some more highlight in his face. Different things like that. It'll be easier to, for you to perceive those differences. So yeah, as I said, go ahead and experiment with them. And I hope that was a good introduction. You'll notice there are adjustments up here. The reason I encourage you to use adjustment layers versus these adjustments is because these adjustments, when you apply them, you can't really modify them after that, unless you do fade, but it's, it's going to be a set adjustment, whereas with a adjustment layer, you're able to even delete the adjustment down the track, able to change the opacity and so forth, able to apply masks and all this, all this other 
options, which is which is what you want, especially in Photoshop, because um, and if you're doing client work as well, somebody um, might want to see something in a different color, or they may want to see different options. So you're able to provide that through different layer layer adjustments and you can also use that in combination with layer comps so you can create a whole different uh, list of layer compilations with that if you want to know how layer compilations work check out my previous video I think it was about episode 4 or 5 where I talk about layers and yeah, that explains it. So thanks, hope you learned something, and check out for more videos to come.